Hello everyone, in this video we'll be solving this problem that came in an AITS question from circular motion. So we have been given a parabolic shaped bridge uh, across a river of width 10 meters. The highest point of the bridge is 4 meters above uh, the level of bank. So we have a car whose mass is given is, and it's crossing the bridge at a constant speed of 4 meter per second. We need to find the force exerted on the bridge by the car when it is at the highest point P of the bridge. So at the highest point in the bridge, so the car is moving uh, with a velocity of 4 meter per second tangential to this path. So if we draw the FBD of the car, there is the weight of the car mg acting downwards and normal from the ground. And then the body is moving towards the right with a velocity of 4 meter per second. So now if we like F equal to MA equation, then we can say the net force towards the center will be equal to the centripetal acceleration which would be m v squared divided by the radius of curvature at that point so if we get the radius of curvature uh, at the topmost point of the parabola then we can get the normal reaction so that's what we'll be doing so in order to find the radius of curvature let's say this is our parabola and let's take the x-axis towards the right direction and let's take the y-axis in this direction so we can write the equation of the parabola to be y equals kx squared, right? Now it's given that parabola passes through the coordinate 5 comma 4. So if I substitute it into this equation, we'll get by 25 as k. So our equation of the parabola is y equals 4 by 25 x squared. For some curve y equal to f of x, the formula for finding the radius of curvature, 1 plus the slope squared to the power 3 by 2 upon the double derivative at that point. So now at the topmost point, as we can clearly see the dy by dx would be zero as the tangent line is horizontal. We can simply say this term would become zero. So this would be one divided by the double derivative, one divided by d2y upon dx squared, which is just a double derivative. So if you differentiate it once, you'll get the answer as eight x by 25 and the double derivative is coming out to be constant, which is eight by 25. So the radius of curvature would become 25 by 8, 8 meters at the topmost point. So now if we substitute it into our equation of motion, uh, into our force equation, we'll get the normal reaction to be mg minus m v squared divided by rc. So then you'll get the answer 4645.76 newton. Okay, so this is the answer for the problem. And that was it for this problem, guys. If you have any doubts, comment down below. Thanks for watching.